morning. It's a bit foggy. So the plan this morning is to go and help these guys um, out for about half an hour. <laughs> and then I've got the dentist, so um, I'll obviously be back to work straight after that. But uh, yeah, we'll catch up with these guys in the fog, strawing up and feeding the cattle. So my dad's on the TM, Andy's on the straw blower. The Yorkshire Farmers, uh, no, Future Farmers, sorry, um, it's because it's at the Yorkshire Agricultural Society, we get tripped up with it. They did a, um, a talk on rising costs of inflation last night, and yeah, really interesting. A guy from HSBC there, a land agent, a young farmer who'd won Young Farmer of the Year, and um, then an older farmer who was actually the, um, um, was it like the chairman of the Yorkshire or something like that? I can't quite, quite remember the title, but. Um, he was talking about his experience over the years of inflation. And I've done a few clips on it, so I might put that in a separate video. Anyway, morning Andy. Morning. <laughs> Andy's just finished putting straw in there. Right, I'm gonna leave Andy, Emma, and my dad to it while I go and have uh, the rest of my root canal treatment done. Oh, yes! So, um, yeah, I think I'll be able to talk after it. It can't be that bad. But, um, yeah, we'll get that sorted now. Lovely, lovely. So, I've just come out of the dentist now. I've got to go back in six weeks and um, get the rest sorted. Get back to the farm and we will get some mucking out done, I think. So, Em's just going up there on the TM, she's doing a mix. We've got Andy, he is on the straw blower. So me, Andy and Em are getting some cows out now. Morning Em! <laughs> so Em's doing a real good job here clipping uh, this mucky beast. Andy's at the other side doing his side, Em's doing this. So the way that we stop the beast from kicking is the side of the crushers squeezes together. Usually it's in line, but it squeezes the cow. It's on air pressure, so it just goes to a certain pressure. So it's not like we can just keep keep squeezing it. It's just to the amount that it was restrains the animal. And um, when they are squeezed, it, it calms them down. So I'm, my lips still a bit numb as well here. But <laughs> can you tell my lips numb? No? Well, oh, that's good then. Yeah, I'm just pushing down the back of the leg there. Get the muck off. Andy's asking me and Em what are the best wellies. And um, basically everyone is, is, is told us, we've just gone, no, they're crap. No, no, they're crap. No, they're crap. Yeah, they're crap, them ones. What's that, Andy? I think it was rock and snow. They had three year warranty on their boots. Like Two. in like different brands. Right? What well is? Yeah, rock and snow don't make the wellies, but what they sell. The warrant. Three year warranty. That's pretty good because, like, literally, I destroy them in a year usually. Yeah, well, I go through three pairs These a year. Are you go for the three pairs a year. <laughs> 40, 40 quid a go. 40 quid a go? Jesus, so like, yeah, these are ga agar ones are like 140 quid or something, which yeah. is, it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Like, I know it's a lot of money, but you get a two year warranty. And as Andy's just said, like, it goes through as well as like yeah. three three pairs a year. It, yeah, three pairs. And pair, get three, cold feet in the wind. And get cold feet, because you ain't got neoprene. But I'm supposed to be having somebody who's going to be sending me some wellies to try. And they do what, look what good. What brand are they? Um, British Weber or something. Something like that, yeah. I'll see what they are when they come anyway. Yeah. I, I, I think it was no, end of November, so if you know the guys, give me a show because these have got an all in them now. What was it I said? Hogs, hogs of five, wasn't it? Hogs of, yeah. I don't know anything about them, I've never and had them on. What was that other brand I said to you? Barber. No, no, not Barber. Harriet. Hunter. 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 Yeah. Pfft, thumbs down. Harriet. Harriet. No idea on Harriet. I know some of them, so she gets called Lush, Them Lushamoo ones, 
nice looking fancy welly, don't get me wrong. And they keep your feet warm. I don't know. What we little tassel? <laughs> and um, and they are good, but they're very expensive and they're quite thin as well. Which I don't think they're like good for like if you're going walking the countryside, but for doing what we do in this stuff. Yeah. Anyway, what do you like in your wellies? With people saying like Dunlop. Yeah. Like you just get cold wellies. No, yeah, Dunlop, Dunlop, they're a great good pair of wellies. Something a bit better. Right? They do milking boots when they're from lining, they're about 80 quid for bacon. Are they? Yeah, I like them. Oh. Also, that's comfy. Mole Valley. Comfy. <laughs> Andy's all about Mole Valley. Put, Mole Valley. Put in his dad's account then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll click these cows. So, what's up, Andy? You don't like the what? Silly little tassel thing on the side. What's that gimmick about? Fashion. Yeah, fashion. No, no, it's that's just supposedly to like. It's fancy, isn't it? <laughs> So See, if you've got big legs, you put it together, don't you? But I ain't got big legs, so no, that stands for. I don't need it. It stands for, I'm a farmer with money. <laughs> uh, this is normal farmer style. Yeah, yeah, but you're, you're spending 150 quid on three pairs of boots anyway. Right? Every year? Yeah, we're spending 150 quid. For two years? Wear out. The grip's good on them. Anyway. Never wear out, only, only three times a year, they though. Just leak. They just yeah, end up leaking. What do we do when I start leaking them? Start complaining to website. Send them back under warranty. Boom, done. 150 quid on three pairs and we're only buying one. No, he's buying six pairs. He's buying three pairs a year. Yeah, so he's buying that six one, pairs. Yeah. Yeah, but to our one. Just think we'll never have to buy a pair again. Because I'll damage these in six months. Well, <laughs> I've only had them six months, so I'm not very happy about this, and then I'll send you another pack. Might do. It means I've got to buy them now, that's the other thing. What? Well, if I buy expensive ones, it means I've got to buy them. If I get the cheaper ones, we should put them on the account. <laughs> Somebody else pays that. Oh. Too tight. I thought it were Yorkshire people that were tight, it's obviously Devon as well then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just people who work in agriculture. <laughs> So we've just had our dinner. Um, got a few more cattle to get out. Then we've got a bit of mucking out to do as well. Has he got anything busy? So me and Andy, not Em, Em's up the top of the yard up there. She's doing a mix. What's going on here? So me and Andy are going to be doing a little bit of mucking out down this uh, down this bottom yard down here. I'm getting very tired though, like yesterday was just like a long day and um, all the driving, like I don't know how people do it, you know like people do like long commutes, so like, I had a two and a bit hour journey from Ollie's, then like another an hour up to Arrogate, an hour back, it's like four and a bit hours on the road, like I know some people just do that like, in the normal commutes and that, uh, yeah, like so glad that I work very close to the farm, my house, and yeah, not got that commute, it's just, yeah, it's made me appreciate it. Em's on busy doing a mix, uh, me and Andy have just been taking a bit more muck out, and then we're going to get feeding up because it's getting towards four o'clock now. Right, it's time to do a mix of engines, but for some reason I've left the pen at my house, so uh, I'm going to have to superimpose it here, Michael Gallagher's name. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, donating to Yorkshire Ambulance. I'm not sure who it is. It's a happy birthday to you, Michael. Anonymously sent, but that don't matter because it's all about giving to the Yorkshire Ambulance, saving people's lives. Absolutely fantastic. What I'd also say as well, if you want to check out eBay, because Ollie um, Harrison is selling Tom Pemberton's book, um, my hat, uh, one of his hats, and a calendar, and it's up to, well, go and have a look at what it's up to. Just search signed Tom Pemberton book, it's up there. It's the one that's a lot of money. That's all in aid of charity as well. Um, it was signed by me, Charlotte, um, Becca, Ollie, Tom, um, I think that's it. If I forgot somebody, I'm sorry. Oh, Georgina, Georgina Summit as well. So check it out on eBay, get it up there, go on. Go on, Andy. Can anybody tell me what Andy's doing right now? Or attempting to do? 
<laughs> what a beast. It's a knife sharpener. A bit old school though, like now you can just get like something you pull through, can't you? Yeah. But I think it's like what butchers used to use and stuff. Um, but yeah, it gets his knife knife sharp. Messing about now with our uh, blue cap. Yeah. Thanks, Flash Ash. <laughs> On, is it on? Yeah, yeah. sealed. Good. Nice good. one. Good. Yeah. Did, was it you's loss of pen? What? <laughs> Who wrote on it first, then? Um? No, I'm not saying that you're wrong. What? The pen's like gone. M's lost the pen. Can anybody see the pen? <laughs> Don't worry, Em. It's only nearly five o'clock. Like, oh, it's a good job Andy's here. Hey. Eh? So you've lost another pen. I've never touched this pen. So you've lost two, you've managed to lose two pens in two minutes. No, because I've never touched this pen. Before. Mind you, I've not had my um, marker pen on me today to do mixed dimensions. I'm going to have to do it digitally. When we go to a show, we'll get loads of pens, AM, eh, from different stands, and then we should, shouldn't have this issue or problem or. So we're all about sorted anyway. Uh, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Oh, and uh, if anybody wants some merch, that's uh, in stock. And me and Becky will probably be packaging some up um, tonight as well. So if you want to get your orders in and get it quickly, then order it tonight. Right, thanks for watching anyway, guys. Bye, Em. Bye. She's waving. Yeah. Look at that. Andy's just is on it. Bye, guys. Bye.